What's up guys? So it has been a crazy time. I'm sure you are just as tired of this coronavirus stuff as I am. So currently third year medical student, which means I'm out of the classroom and now in the doctor's offices actually doing stuff. And my first rotation was in orthopedic surgery. So the bone doctors, the guys go in there, take out your old hip. Pretty funny. First time I saw a hip replacement, I was standing on, a, on the other side of the table away from the surgeon. So I couldn't see exactly what he was doing, but he gets out this big drill and just starts drilling into this thing. I don't know what he's drilling in. Big tug, out pops this femoral head. Whoa, I said wow out loud. It's so cool. If you ever get an opportunity to see your live surgery, definitely take it. Everyone just works like clockwork. The nurses, the surgeon, the scrub techs, everyone. It's just a well-oiled machine. And it really is like a construction project. They're in there with hammers, cement, drills, saws, cutting old stuff out, putting in shiny, literally shiny new ones. So in surgery, you would think making a gaping, you know, six inch wide incision, there'd be blood everywhere. Not so. One of the ways they stop bleeding is through a tourniquet. Pretty primitive, you just cut off circulation to the limb and you won't bleed through it because there's no blood getting there. Here's the coolest thing. It's called the bovi. So the bovi is the special kind of instrument they use to split open tissue. It's like a flat kind of square looking blade. Honestly, it just looks like a piece of metal because that's all it is. But the metal has electricity going through it. And there's a couple different formats here about how the electricity moves through the body. The electricity was concentrated at the tip of the bovi blade and then it was dispersed throughout the body and went into a pad that they were laying on. Generally, it goes through the tip of the blade to the tissue and if it's cutting, then it just evaporates the tissue as it goes down. And that reduces the bleeding significantly. It was amazing. And it kind of smells like a bad barbecue, to be honest, or like burnt hair. So what was I doing? As you know, the medical student didn't want to get in any of his way. For the first two surgeries, I just stood there and watched, really. Like, I scrubbed in, but eventually, I was able to, you know, hold retractors, you know, holding back the tissue while he was operating. Sometimes I gotta suck out some of the liquids that were accumulating in there. Another cool thing that I was able to do in the surgery room, during a shoulder replacement, they take the head of the humerus. So you have your humerus. Head is like the ball part of your humerus. So you would chop that off, gone. My job was I would go over to the, like the sterile table. I would take the half circle of the head of the humerus and I'd take some pliers and just start gouging out and digging out all of the inner part of the bone. And that was for a bone graft. So they'd take all those little pieces that I dug out, I put it in a little cup and they shove it back in the inner part of the bone. And that bone graft would hold the implant in place you know, they put some more cement and stuff in there. First time I did it, I got kind of made fun of because I was like, I don't want to hurt anything. I don't want to drop this thing, blah, blah, blah. You know, I went home, lifted some weights, did some hand exercises. Next day, I was going ham, digging for gold in that humeral head. And it was fun. It was really fun. I was able to be a part of the team and contribute. Also able to see some septic joints. You know, they had to cut it back open, take like a vacuum slash power washer. <laughs> Pour vancomycin powder in, like straight up powder. It looks like flour, pretty much. And they're just pouring it in to this joint. And like, sew it back up. Pray that it doesn't get infected again. So those are some highlights from my orthopedic surgery rotation. If you guys have any questions or anything you want to know, let me know in the comments. I'll try to get to them. I'm not great at looking in the comments. I am sorry. I apologize for that. Thanks for watching. Have a great, well, for me it's evening. But for you, have a great whatever. All right. We'll see you next time.